It's a puppet! Wow! Hello everyone and welcome to the very first video of my brand new YouTube channel. I am Pip the Puppet and you, my friend, have been missing me without even knowing I existed. Ta-da! Um, did that work? I'm not too sure about it. I, I felt a bit silly. Um, okay, yep, yep, sure. Anyway, now, some of you might be thinking, what? Another YouTube channel? There's loads of those. Blah, 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 blah. And okay, you might have a point, but, 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 fear not. Because this show is different from everything you've ever seen. Because this show has me. And yes, it is as simple as that. Mm-hmm. You'll get to learn a lot more about me in my videos, but I can tell you some things right now. Things like, hmm, I love art, I love crafts, and I love experiments. In other words, I love a lot of fun with a little bit of mess. <laughs> yes, because there's nothing better than exploring the world around us and making things with our own hands. Wow, look at all this. Look at that. Ooh. So, for our very first video, I chose to bring you guys to my super duper lab. One of my favorite places in the whole world. How cool is that? So, make yourself at home and let the fun begin. Experiments. I like the title, guys. Good job. Well done. Keep it up. Okay, cool. Science time. For our first experiment, I picked something very exciting that you can make at home. Today, we will learn how to blow up a balloon using baking soda and vinegar. So, grab a pencil and some paper and let's have a look at the ingredients we need for this awesome experiment. Baking powder. You can find this in your kitchen. Two and a half cups of vinegar. You can also find this in your kitchen. One funnel. If you don't have a funnel at home, you can improvise using a sheet of paper. Three empty water bottles three balloons and one spoon. And to make things even more fun, we'll need some food colouring. You should be able to find this at home. Okay, good. Here we have our lovely three empty bottles, as you can see. Hmm? What's that? What, what are you trying to tell me? Oh, oh, yes, yes, of course. Oh, how could I forget? Okay, so, hmm. Even though I am an amazing puppet, I am still a puppet and sometimes I need help from my helping hands. So let's meet Helping Hands. Hello, Helping Hands. If there's something I've learned, it's to never be ashamed of asking for help. Helping Hands and I are great friends and we will be doing many videos together. So, Helping Hands, what's the first thing we need to start our amazing experiment? Ah, the vinegar. We're using vinegar that's see-through because when we add colours later, it'll look even more fun. So, we need to pour half a cup of vinegar into each of our three bottles. Wow. You can always ask an adult to help you pour all the vinegar into the bottles. It looks quite tricky, so I'm glad I'm not doing it. Pour half a cup of vinegar into the last one. Here we go. Thank you, helping hands. So, now we have all the vinegar in all of the bottles. But to make it more fun, you can choose your three favourite colours of food colouring and add some drops of it to the vinegar. Helping hands, can you help us out? What's the first colour? It's pink! Thank you, helping hands. Let's put the pink food colouring into one of the bottles. A few drops ought to do it. Already you can see that our see-through vinegar is taking on a brand new colour, bright pink. We're going to give it a shake. Isn't that pretty? So much better than boring old see-through vinegar. Okay, helping hands get ready with our next colour. Drum roll. Ah, I think that's orange. Should we put that one in the middle bottle, helping hands? Wow. Oh, yes, thank you. Helping hands knows what to do. But one more colour. What should we use? Hmm, what do you think, helping hands? Yellow? I was going to say yellow. What a good idea. Let's put the yellow food colouring in the last bottle. There it goes, into the vinegar. And now we have a lovely spectrum of colours. We're ready to move on to our next step, which is the baking powder. So now we're going to use the funnel. 
If you don't have one, you can easily improvise by rolling a sheet of paper up, like this. Ta-da! We made this earlier. It's just a piece of paper, but it works really well. So, use the funnel to add baking soda into three different balloons. You'll remember the balloons from earlier. You add two spoonfuls, well, two or three, into each balloon. Helping Hands is going to do this for me, because my own hand is busy drumming on the table. So, one... and two... three! Three teaspoons of baking powder into the funnel, down the funnel, and into the balloon. So, second balloon, here we go, with the baking powder. And let's go for three teaspoons again. Let's do everything in threes. One. Two. Three. And now let's go on to the last balloon. Here we go. One. Two. Three. So. Here we have our three bottles full of colourful vinegar. We have our three balloons that all match our bottles, each with three teaspoons of baking powder. Pink, orange and yellow. So, the next step, we put the three balloons over the three different bottles, but you have to be careful not to drop any baking powder into any of the bottles just yet. You ready, helping hands? Let's do this. So, pink balloon over the pink bottle. See how Helping Hands is being super careful not to drop any of the baking powder into the bottle just yet. I think that looks pretty secure. Orange balloon on the orange bottle. And the last balloon is going on the last bottle, both yellow. Be super careful, make sure it's on properly. That looks pretty secure. Wow, there we go. Hasn't Helping Hands done a great job? You've got the three balloons on top of the three bottles. They're nice and secure and no baking powder has been spilled into the vinegar yet. Which means I think we're ready to go. You ready, Helping Hands? Okay, so when you're ready, you let the baking soda inside the balloon go into the bottle of vinegar. Here we go. First one, pink. <gasps> wow. Orange one. Ooh, you can see what's all fizzing up. There's loads of bubbles inside. The balloons are filling with air. How are they doing that? Yellow in the lead. Orange taking second. Now pink. Wow, look at that. So here we can see that the three balloons are slowly filling with air. And that inside the bottles, the vinegar is fizzing because of the baking powder. Isn't that amazing? We're blowing up the balloons and we're not even breathing into them. It's magic or it's science. The science behind this experiment is a chemical reaction between the baking powder and the vinegar. When the two ingredients mix together, they produce a gas called carbon dioxide. The amount of gas produced is too big to fit in the bottle, so the gas moves up into the balloon. And as the gas goes up into the balloon, it inflates it, as we can see. Carbon dioxide is also the same gas we <sighs> exhale when we blow up balloons. But now you've learned how to do it without using your lungs at all. This is so cool! So, if you liked the video, give it a big thumbs up and make sure you leave a comment. I would love to hear from you. And of course, you should subscribe to my channel and don't miss the many other videos that are coming up with me, Pip the Puppet. Bye! Hey folks, I told you more videos would be on the way soon. Just click in the box to check my amazing tutorial on how to make a squishy ball. You can't miss this one, I'll meet you there.